commemorating the UN International Day of Peace, the Women's Federation for World Peace Europe and Middle East held a conference on September 15th. Since the year 2000, annual events have been hosted with prominent women leaders on a broad range of global and regional concerns. With our new partner, the International Association of First Ladies for Peace, we combined our strengths to hold events and gatherings that included the unique perspective on issues by the First Ladies of Nations. Ms. Carolyn Hunchin Moser, President of WFWP Europe and coordinator of ILFLP Europe and the Middle East, opened the meeting No Peace Without Women. What are women bringing to peace processes, conflict prevention and human security? With consecutive roundtables from 4 to 7.30 p.m. Central European time, the Honourable Naila Moab, well, former First Lady of Lebanon and Minister of Social Affairs, co-sponsored the conference. Dr Julia Moon, President of WFWPI, said there has never been a time when the voices of women were more desperately needed in our world. We can see that the power for change in society is found in the heart of love for others, rooted in a spiritual awareness of the value of all life. WFWP teaches that only through the invisible spiritual power of unselfish love can we achieve our desperately desired goals for happiness. As we find ourselves confronted again, shockingly, with war at our doorstep, we decided to convene a meeting of experts and practitioners whose engagement for peace is renowned and whose resolve to advance peaceful settlement of tensions is unwavering. We address these concerns together, considering minimising human suffering and preventing circumstances that have justified conflict as the best solution. Tapping local knowledge, rethinking governance and global institutions, enhancing civil society government partnership are but a few thoughts to prevent the situation we find ourselves in today. Women leaders who are often and mothers as well have something and, uh, unique, effective and convincing to bring to the uh, table. Madam Olga Olgarayeva, Executive Secretary, UN uh, Economic Commission on Europe, Geneva, and Ms. Adriana Quinones, Director, UN Women Office, Geneva, spoke in the opening session. Next, Creating Conditions for Peace and Development was emceed by Ms. Sanita Messi, former Deputy Prime Minister of Albania. The speakers were Dr. Sakina Yakubi, Founder, Executive Director, Afghan Institute of Learning. Dr. Ingeborg Brains, former Director, Women and Culture of Peace Programme, UNESCO, Norway. Mr. Marcus Lenzen, Deputy Chief, Peacebuilding Fund, United Nations. And Ms. Therese komodini Katia, former Member of European Parliament. How do women negotiate differently was the next session. MC'd by Ms. Alexandra Skonieczka, President WFWP Poland. The speakers were... Madam Elsie Christofia, former First Lady of Cyprus, Dr. Liri Berisha, former First Lady of Albania, Honourable Helena Kokarinen, Chief EU Advisory Mission to Ukraine, Finland, and Dr. Tania Pfaffenholz, Director, Inclusive Peace Institute, Geneva. Next, Women in Conflict Resolution and Transformation Case Studies was emceed by Ms. Marcia de Abreu, WFWP Secretary General Europe and President of WFWP Spain. Um, so I will be the speakers were Honourable uh, Emilia Redzepi, Deputy uh, Prime Minister of um, Kosovo, Honourable uh, Natasha Micic, former President of Serbia, really Honourable Emanuela Del Rey, Special uh, Representative of the European uh, Union so to the Sahel region, and Ms. Sruti Leka, Representative of Youth Peace Conference, Peace Building Commission. Lastly, the Ukraine project proposal was introduced by Ms. Anna Kalmatskaya, Vice President WFWP Ukraine, with the donation appeal spearheaded by MC Ms. Miti Toma, European Vice President of WFWP and President of WFWP UK. Thank you, Hello everyone. Bye-bye. Thank you very much. Yeah. This is the details, don't forget.